Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring Minimalist Essentials for Travel. Thank you so much to Mirror Beauty for sponsoring this video. I think they are perfect for this idea because Merit is a minimalist beauty brand, and they focus on creating products that are safe for the body, skin, and planet. And that's perfect for my travel philosophy. I want to just bring the bare bones minimum but essential products at the same time. If you're not familiar with Merit, they have a nice curated selection of essential products, and they've sent over some beautiful items for me to include here. I've got the Minimalist in Suede here. I'll show you that in action as concealer and foundation, and that pairs perfectly with their number one brush. I use that for the foundation concealer, also for bronzer, blush, and highlight, so it's very multitasking. Oh yes, and I started out with the Great Skin because I love plumping, I love brightening, and I love the skin first approach and everything of course is EU compliant. And they were really thoughtful about creating their products and eliminating any acne triggering ingredients. Oh yeah, and then I'm trying this for the first time. This is their Lip Sleek, and it's a little bit sheer, but really beautiful and evening out the skin tone, so I'll show that in action, of course. And with every first order, they include this signature bag, so if you've never ordered from Merit before, this will be included in the first order. And I've had mine for years, and it's definitely meant to be reused, so make sure to hang on to this. And starting on May 18th, with orders of $75 or more for a limited amount of time, this gold compact mirror is included. So make sure if you wanted to pick that up May 18th, again, limited time only, $75 and above, this beautiful gold mirror is included. And all orders over $40 ship free, and I'll leave the link below as well as right here. They're also offering bundled items. I'll leave the sets below for you there if you can choose from. And I also picked up this Chanel blush. I wanted to revisit their stick blushes because this is all about essentials and minimalism and what a perfect product to bring then stick products. In fact, most of the products here are stick products. So we've got the foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush. We also have a Chanel highlighter that's a stick product I'm going to be using. Oh yeah, and I can't forget eyeshadow sticks. These are perfect travel products. I love the stick form. I didn't use any brushes for my eyes today. And I'm gonna show you a comparison between the products I've been testing out here. So I've got uh, some green toned eyeshadows. I've got a couple of mattes and I also have some shimmery colors. So I'm gonna compare them for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Skin first has always been a priority for me. So getting the skin as beautiful as possible before makeup is so important and this product I've used gosh a few bottles of this it's the great skin it's the instant glow serum I also love brightening products this has niacinamide in it which is for brightening there's also some lovely plumping here so it's a by face you've got to make sure to shake this up just rub this between my hands and then pat it on and there are four types of hyaluronic acid in here for deep hydration and then there's also a caffeine rich cacao seed extract, which helps with plumping. I always like plumping up the skin first. And for soothing and antioxidant protection, there's an ingredient in here called Japanese golden thread root. I'm gonna go in like normal and go ahead and mattify a little bit in the front just because I can tend to get more oily in the front, especially in the summer. So I'm going in with the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pour Smooth Blur Drops. I'm gonna do a little quick prep of this stick product. It's the Ola Henriksen, it's the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. So we're just doing that to add a little bit of glow under the eyes and just do a little brightening before we go in and conceal. Going in with the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick, and this one is by Merit. We're gonna go under the eye as well, and then on the dark spots, of course, Actually, I'm gonna apply it all over the face here. We're gonna go in with this brush by Mirror, which I love. I think it pairs perfectly with this product because it really can get into all of those areas that are a little tricky, like around the nose, under the eye. I'm gonna go right under the eye as a concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it. I'm gonna show you half the face. You can see how quick that is. It 
Just a little bit more on those dark spots. It's a great peachy undertone here on suede, so it works really well as a concealer for dark spots on me. Let's do brows really quickly, and this is the fastest brow product I have. It's the Gucci in number four. Okay, and then let's go ahead with a stick bronzer. There are so many lovely stick bronzers out there, but I thought we'd revisit one. I haven't featured in a while, but it's very lovely. It's the one by Westman Atelier. It's in the shade Truffle. So I'm just gonna, that's why it's so easy. You just place it and then you blend it in. And I'm just gonna use the same merit brush here to help blend that in. Since I'm not going to apply a crease color here, I'm just gonna take the bronzer and build a little bit of dimension right in the crease area, the excess on the brush. And then let's do a quick, quick eye. So this stick product, we're gonna use the Hourglass, uh, and I'm gonna compare all of the shades for you that I have in various brands, in various, from various brands, from Victoria Beckham to Bobbi Brown and Laura Mercier that I have. This one's in Aurora, Aurora. And that's it. So pretty, I love this shade. I'm gonna go underneath the um, lash line here. That also helps cancel out some of that redness I have under the eyes, but it's very light, so I like that. It's not super intense. And then we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Pencil. This one's in Forest, and we're just going to go above the lash line. Oh wow, I'm almost done with this. That's how much I love this. It's almost done. Um, I need to get another one. take that up a little bit further into the crease. I think it's a really elegant eye and it's a very uh, delicate eye, I think. So I'm gonna go in with the Clay de Peau mascara because I think it's a kind of a delicate lash look. So I'm gonna add that on. We'll finish up with a little bit of Powder, I haven't even powdered yet, some blush and a lip. Okay, going in with the Chantecai Buff and Blur Powder. Just in the center. Going with the Dior Show Onset Brow just to further take care of these brows. Get them a little bit fluffier. Okay, we're actually almost done here. So we're gonna go in, I wanna try this blush. I'm revisiting this blush from Chanel. This is in the shade 21. I was trying to find something a little bit pinkier. It looks like stock was low kind of everywhere on this. Um, I'm gonna go straight on first, but I'm gonna kind of try and blend it with this Merit blush brush. <laughs> Actually, I like that. That's looks really nice on the skin. So I think it's because I have less hyperpigmentation than I did before, because I really had to be careful around here, but now it's okay. So it's definitely working better for me now. I'm gonna go in next with the highlighter by Chanel. This is the one in 
um, in sculpting. This one right here. We're just gonna go right on the highest points of the cheekbone there. Yeah, I love the multi-purpose aspect of that brush. I'm gonna go down the bridge of the nose. Of course, let's go in with a little bit, just a little bit of clay to put in the corners. Just to clean that area up. In mocha. And then let's go in with this product, which is new to me. This is the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. And I have this in the gelée form. And this shade is Le Deux, a sheer pink. So you can see it's translucent there. And then this is the applicator. Yeah, I like how it just evened out my lip color. It's very effortless and really easy to reapply. So here's the final look. And what I love about this is that it's really effortless, not only the application piece of it, but also the overall look. So again, the complexion stick, so easy to use for foundation and concealer. And then you could see how I used this CC stick underneath for just a little bit of glow because I use the same product for concealer and for foundation. Love this pairing though. If you're gonna get this, definitely get the brush as well. It makes everything so much easier in terms of application. And then starting with skin first, making sure that skin looks as beautiful as possible so you can use use less makeup and then have a nice smooth texture as well. And I loved this. I'm gonna definitely put this in my bag. It looks really healthy again, effortless, effortless application, effortless reapplication as well because this is gonna be easy to reapply without a mirror. Let's talk about these eyeshadow sticks really quickly. I swatched them all for you. First up, the eyeshadow stick by Hourglass in Aurora. Next is Laura Mercier's Khaki. You can see this one has a brown tone to it, very earthy tone, and it has, I'm gonna say the least amount of shimmer to it. The next one is Bottle Green by Victoria Beckham. And that one is the most green of the three. And you can see it has some intermittent shimmer, very fine particles in there though. We've got a couple of matte shades that are great for the crease. We've got the Bobbi Brown in Taupe. The next up is the Victoria Beckham in the shade Pecan. And you can see that one is deeper as well. And then we've got a few shades that I think are really good for the center of the lid, maybe the inner corner. We've got the Hourglass that I did not try on yet today. And this one is in the shade Moon. We've got by Victoria Beckham, Oyster. It's probably the coolest of all three. Next is Bobbi Brown in Mica. And that one has a taupey tone to it, the most intermittent shimmer of the two, it appears. But I'd say that's more of a mocha tone. So my favorite one and done is this one by Hourglass. You can see how beautiful it is. It really just reflects the light. It's subtle. I think these other sticks are quite intense. So this one's really easy to use as a one and done. It's a, almost a satiny glow, really beautiful. And the color's quite subtle. So I love it for this effortless look, this minimalist look, but it's definitely enough to see that I have on some makeup I've made, some effort to look put together. I think this fits in hand in hand with all these other easy to use products, an effortless yet essential. And really it's such a beautiful one and done because it just catches the light so beautifully and again provides just a little bit of color. So while I love these to build dimension, I love this one all by itself. And I will test these out. I'll try them on side by side for you in the future and let you know what they are best for because they're all quite good, but I think they're good for different purposes. And for this purpose, for something very simple, very minimalist, I'm gonna select this one. I forgot to mention this worked nicely, I think because my dark spots are not as severe because it does show the skin, which I like. It shows the skin through everything. But if you have hyperpigmentation, you're trying to cover a product. I don't know if this is the best product for you, but for me, because my skin's in pretty good condition, this is something I'll definitely be enjoying throughout the summer. So thank you again so much to Merit Beauty for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the Merit Beauty site. Again, I'll leave the link below for you. They definitely offer so many items that I love traveling with. Of course, I'll be vlogging all of these trips. Let me know where you're traveling this summer, what you're taking with you, but I'm definitely going to pack all of this right now so they're ready to go. We have at least one, two trips. This summer I'll be traveling 
most of the summer. So we'll be seeing these products quite a bit. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.